Oh. Hello. Good day to you. Dr. Laney here once again in, uh, uh, where am I? Not in the Mask Fanatic. Wait. Let me look it up. Let me see where I am. Oh, there are a bunch of books here. I must be in the library. That's it. I'm in the library. That must mean it's time for Creepy Cheapies, where we look for cool and affordably priced Halloween masks. Got another great mask to share with you on this lovely day. A wicked cool dead guy, which is always something I find exciting. Wicked cool dead guy right here. And he's called Revenant. That's right. Now the correct spelling for Revenant is R-E-V-E-N-A-N-T. That is the actual word, revenant, which just means anything that has come back from the grave. So basically a zombie or a ghost or a vampire or any manner of resuscitated, uh, formerly dead uh, person can uh, be referred to under the sort of umbrella title, but not from the Umbrella Corporation, as a revenant. Now, uh, if you want to look this mask up online because you want to uh, buy one, uh, you'll want to know how to spell it correctly, and again, that's our E V E. Oddly enough, some of the masks uh, actually were issued with a, uh, a tag attached that managed to misspell the name as Ravenant. R A V E N E N T. Uh, so, so, you know, um, you might think that means it has to do with Edgar Allan Poe, but it really doesn't. It just means uh, that if you don't find it under Revenant, go ahead and misspell it as Ravenant, and you might find it that way. I've also seen it misspelled as R-A-V-E-N-A-N-T. So any of those spellings are possible, but the correct one is two E's and one A, just so you know, because this is an educational program right here, sports fans. Now let's take a closer look at the Revenant. And since he was made by Ghoulish Productions, it's rather ironic that they misspelled his name on some of the tags and some of the advertisements because the parent company, that is the name of the factory that actually produces the wonderful Ghoulish Productions masks, is called Rev, R-E-V. So you'd think that would be a syllable uh, with which they would not have a problem. But somebody there uh, dropped the ball a little bit and misspelled Revenant as Ravenant. But still, we know what they mean, right? Sure. And as you can see, the Revenant, or, or Ravenant, uh, has fantastically well-painted eyes. Now, for something in the $40 price range, which is where you'll find this guy, those are just amazing eyes. And that's something that uh, Ghoulish Productions seems to get better and better at, is really nice, uh, realistic detailing on the eyes, making the eyes look really creepy and spooky. How spooky is that, hmm? And w when you're wearing this, you see out of little slits that are cut above the eyes, beneath the brow line, okay? And as you can see, a lo his lips are gone, all right? He's got some uh, bone showing there and his teeth all exposed. I think uh, that's sort of a, a neo-traditionalist zombie thing, started, I think, by uh, The Walking Dead, or at least popularized by The Walking Dead uh, television show, because that's kind of a common theme with their zombies, this lips gone and the big teeth sticking out. And in fairness to them, I think that makes sense, because it's entirely likely that zombies, uh, who are just feeding on a purely instinctual level and aren't really thinking about things, and don't feel pain like living people do, don't care about using their lips carefully, and don't th care about how they look, and don't hurt themselves. They just go on and on and on, and they're just, just gnawing and chewing away at things, and they wear their mouths off, basically. But they can still hurt you. They can't uh, recite poetry anymore, but they can still hurt you if they have, uh, you know, the skull teeth working. Uh, but anyway, Revenant in time for Halloween 2015 from Ghoulish Productions sells for around 40 bucks. As you can see, it's got uh, got a little bit of a slit up the back. It does have that, but as I always say with uh, horrible masks that have slits up the back, it is assumed that when you're wearing it, people we, we, will be running away from you and they won't see you from behind. You, you see, you'll see them from the back because they'll be running away from you because this is one great, scary, very realistic mask and um, again a paint job that really goes above and beyond the call of spooky and I highly recommend it. Get yourself a Revenant and scare those kids off your lawn. <laughs>